today's video is going to be about how to make a budget spreadsheet and it's going to be a step by step and so let's go ahead and jump right into it I have my little outline over here of what we're going to go over so the first thing you need to know is what kind of tools you need to create a budget spreadsheet obviously you need a, a computer a tablet or even your phone uh, there are apps now on the uh, Play Store or on the um, Apple uh, Store where you can download spreadsheet software. So you don't even need to have an actual computer to do this. You uh, off you also need uh, some kind of spreadsheet software like uh, Excel, Google Sheets, or open source. Um, there are open source options such as uh, Apache, Open Office, Calculator, just Google. Just type in um, spreadsheet software free or open source if you don't have any, if you don't actually have Excel. I'm actually going to be using Google Sheets because it's uh, it's free and it's cloud based so I don't have to have it um, actually on my computer. I can just log into Google Sheets even from my from my phone so it helps me keep up with with my expenditure and stuff if I'm at the store and I buy something and I need to put it in a certain category I can just go ahead and whip out the phone type it in and uh, get it recorded so I don't end up forgetting so the steps uh, are pretty straightforward step one will be you need to decide how you would like your spreadsheet your spreadsheet to set up that is do you want it to look um, is it uh, a monthly view or do you want it to 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 have um, all of the 12 months in the year all on one tab so you can uh, you can decide how you how you want to 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 have that set up if you look at the budget over here that we have this is a a uh, a monthly budget and as you can see it breaks down expenses on one side it has your income on the other side and then it categorizes your spending and there are formulas that are that are input in the spreadsheet that calculate everything for you so as you enter your information it's going to it's going to auto populate all of these fields what's neat about this is this third column either on income or expenses has has a difference calculator so basically if you overspend like for instance on the food category you plan to spend fifty dollars for the month but your actual was seventy five so you overspent by twenty five so it's a negative twenty five if you look at the gifts you had fifty dollars scheduled for gifts what you actually spent was twenty five and so the difference was a positive twenty five so those those two would uh, net zero so that that is a good way for you to be able to see what categories you are overspending in and what you need to do to be able to get your um, your budget in, in in check okay so once you've decided um, what kind of budget you want and and how the layout is you're going to go ahead and start entering uh, your planned figures typically you want to do this at the at the beginning of the month um, so that as you go through a month and and, and as you spend on different categories you are able to capture this and are able to bounce it against what you thought you would be able to do at the beginning of the month uh, the final step is reviewing your spending at the end of the month and making adjustments as needed so obviously the whole point of budgeting is so that you see where your expenditure is and also also get a feel for what what uh, expenses you can cut out or what adjustments you need to make to your budget so that you comfortably can fit within your budget and also don't don't go over so what are the advantages of of um, having a budget so some of the advantages of that you know a simple monthly budget template allows you to create a spending plan for your money you know some people use uh, printable 
budget templates and these in a, uh, ensure that you will ha you always have enough money for the things that you need a monthly household budget template also um, allows you to to be able to uh, not get into debt so that uh, you know I haven't really seen any negatives of having a budget you know, it's it gives teaches you discipline uh, financial discipline it it uh, it teaches you how to uh, appropriate the funds that you have so that you're not wondering where your money went at the end of the month but you actually know where it, where it went so now that we've gotten that um, the basics out of the way let's go ahead and 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 actually get into Google Sheets and um, open up a a blank spreadsheet and we're going to go ahead and just start start creating one so we'll just we'll make an, a really simple one and um, we'll just call this one monthly budget all right so we've given we've given the spreadsheet well we, we've um, created that that cell just to um, to give us a um, a name for this so we'll go ahead and and let's um, let's go ahead and start categorizing this so let's go ahead and say um, income so this whole row is going to be your income and then let's go ahead and say expenses right and we'll go ahead and say that this is these will be your your expenses and we'll go ahead and put a total this is going to be uh, a really really basic uh, spreadsheet right here so let's say your income for the month is five thousand right and we're going to start listing putting expenses in here okay 250 500 all right so we've added a category here and you just go ahead and and list whatever it is so let's say you spend a hundred dollars a month on on your gas you know 250 might be insurance 500 could be let's say a car payment 800 let's say that will be rent okay so the total basically you're going to be subtracting your expenses from your income there's several ways you can do it the easiest way would just be to say that this column this is equal to the 5,000 minus the 100 and equal that enter and you know as you can see it subtracted that the next row you do the same thing equal but this time you take it from the previous total and you subtract the 250 and there you go and you just keep on going down all right there you go and as as you you can see as you go through the month you can keep on doing the same thing and so at the end of the month let's say this is your your month end here then whatever the balance is in here is what you will have left over at the at the end of the month so like i said this is a this is a pretty basic you know spreadsheet it doesn't have all the bells and whistles if you wanted to do you know 
let's say you wanted to pretty it up a little bit, you can bold that. You can go ahead and make it a little bit, oops. You can go ahead and make it a little bigger on the title, just, you know, highlight it. You can use a different background. You know, you can do the same for the categories and stuff. If you wanted to to see what um, percentage of your spending is the is the um, expense, you know, you can add a formula in here. So let's say we want to do that. We'll say this is equals to that divided by. And this is just ba basic, basic, you know, percentages in mathematics. Oh, we got an error on that. Why is it giving us an error? So let's just do it without the percentage of the n and see what that gives us. Say so if we divide this by this, what will that give us? So that is two percent, basically. So and you can do the same. Let's say this should be ten percent. So Let's just verify that. If we say that's equal to that, and you divide it by this, yes, it's 10%.01, and then you multiply it by 100, so that gives you percent. Let's see if we can use a percent formula for that row format. And, it, and um, there you go. And see, so now it's it's populated that as actual as actual percentages. So now you can look at at the categories that you spend and and see what percentage of your actual income that those those categories that 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 spending category makes up. So like I said, this is this is a pretty a pretty basic basic budget. If you would like me to send you a copy of this more um in uh in depth budget here you know it 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 has little graphs and you can do all that you can add graphs to 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 your own spreadsheet but if you want one that's that's like this that's broken down just leave me a comment comment in the comment box below you know give me a like or something and and uh leave a comment uh give me your uh, contact uh, an email that you want me to send it to and I'll be glad to go ahead and uh and share uh, a copy of this of this budget with you so uh hopefully this has been informative if you've got any questions if you run into any problems again uh go ahead and leave me a comment below and uh I'll reply to you a comment and uh see what I can do to help you out so hopefully if you had no idea how to set up a budget spreadsheet this has given you you know where to stump some something to start with also if if you want to use an automated option i'm going to leave some links in the description to some um, budgeting apps that you can use and also some um some uh spreadsheet spreadsheet apps so all right uh hope you guys enjoyed this uh give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel because we're going to have a lot more content coming and um, we'll see you next time. God bless.